Potassium bromate is used in the bread making process in the States because it helps bread rise faster, higher, and makes bread manufacturers quite a lot of dough. <laughs> but it's also heavily linked to cancer, nervous system damage, and kidney damage. All right, so if you've been following me for any length of time, you know that if somebody is scaring you about a particular ingredient, they need to be A, naming the ingredient, which he does, potassium bromate. They need to be telling you the dose at which it occurs in the food products. He's not doing that. And he needs to be providing evidence that it is harmful to humans at those doses, which he also did not provide. So clearly there is information that is missing here to say that this ingredient at the levels in foods is har harmful to humans. All right, so first off, potassium bromate in the United States is limited to 75 milligrams per kilogram of flour. During thermal processing, such as baking, the bromate is reduced to bromide, which is a harmless form of the oxidizer. Now, bromate residues can still remain, and those are limited to 20 parts per billion. This level is 1,000 times lower than the amount that has been shown to be harmful to rodents in studies. This is a great example of how somebody can be saying things that are technically correct, but they are leaving out information that helps to understand the actual risk and heavily relying on banned in other countries to imply that it's unsafe, which is a topic I've gone over many times on my page and different regulatory frameworks in different countries can arrive at different conclusions on ingredients and result in different ingredients being banned. That is not evidence in itself that something is unsafe at the levels in foods. In azodi carbonamide, which is a chemical compound found in yoga mats, as well as shoe soles. Ah uh, yes, azodi carbonamide, the famous yoga mat chemical. This is another logical fallacy that people like to present in order to scare consumers about specific ingredients by saying that they're used in other industrial applications. So is water. There's water in laundry detergent. Does that mean that we shouldn't drink water? Salt, baking soda, these are all things that are used in many different industrial applications. That doesn't mean that they are unsafe to consume. And then of course he brought up the banned in other countries because of heavy link to respiratory problems. When inhaled, this has nothing to do with consuming the product. This is inhalation occupational exposure, which by the way can happen with pretty much anything that is a fine powder. So again, none of these things show that it is actually unsafe at the amounts in foods. Azodicarbonamide is limited to 45 parts per million in flour. So this ingredient upon baking can break down into other compounds that at high levels can pose a health risk, but the levels that are actually in foods are far below these harmful levels. Just always keep in mind dose, and if the person that is scaring you about an ingredient is not giving you dose, they're not giving you all the information because the dose matters for literally everything we consume and everything that we consume can be potentially harmful at a high enough dose. And these are ingredients that have to be labeled as well. So if you do want to avoid them for any reason, they will be listed on the ingredient deck. Just be cognizant when people are omitting necessary information to assess risk.